Hi, y'all. Just wanted to share a video with you about something I've been seeing both in the church and in the world a lot. Um, I just started noticing a pattern of the enemy seemingly coming against, not seemingly, but coming against his people in the natural. And then it just kind of started progressing. But because he can't win in the spiritual, and he knows it. So he's going to be subtle. That's how the Garden of Eden was. He was subtle. And the, his power is in the subtlety of it, guys. The, the creeping unaware, the seemingly nonsense or just stuff. It's almost like it's almost like the same as in the marriage supper of the Lamb, where he said, "Don't." They took it lightly. Don't take things lightly, guys. But anyhow, so I start seeing this in the natural. Um, Cars breaking down, finances being attacked, people's health being attacked, um, their careers being attacked. Just on and on and on. The list would go on. <laughs> Yesterday, my wife and I went to minister at the shelter, and the microphone was all tore up. Couldn't get it to work. Worked on it for about 20 minutes or so. Natural, something natural. Because you can't win. But then I started watching, seeing that in the church, too. Coming into the church, so much stuff. It's like, honestly, guys, it's like Jesus is being whitewashed out of the church. The gospel, the Bible, scripture. Who is your source? It should be God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word. And a lot of it's just about stuff, programs and plans and events and things and just stuff. Maybe necessary, but shouldn't be preeminent, shouldn't be the top of the chart, shouldn't be the first and foremost. So anyhow, then I started, I turned off, I canceled my direct TV. We had it for years, 14, long time. Rec TV, now it's at and Turned it off. I was tired of all the garbage and trash. I'm like, at least I can just pick and choose on the internet or whatever, you know, my source might be to try to see what's going on a little bit. But I don't have to get polluted with all this trash and division. And then I'm, the Lord's been dealing with me a lot. Just look at some of my other videos. But this is how he deals with me, guys. He did. You, some of y'all the same way, some of y'all different ways. I'm not here to judge any, 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 how God's dealing with you at all. I'm not telling you you should deal with the same way you deal with me. I'm trying to clone anything. None of that. None of that garbage. But mine is early in the morning, between two and four. Used to not be, but I seem to be my prayer time now. And I'll get specific scriptures. Well, the other day, I got a bunch of them. I put, been put, trying to put them down. It's just a little overwhelming, too. There's just so many of them. Um, but it was out of Isaiah 27. About the Leviathan spirit. That twisted spirit. And that's what we're up against, guys, right now. Everything's twisted. People are twisting the scriptures to fit their needs. It's like Hollywood Christianity on steroids. Uh, it's like God in a box. It's like a Captain Crunch Christianity. Everybody likes Captain Crunch and they take it down when they need the cereal and it's good and tasty looking and sweet and smells good and no no nutritional value, no food at all, nothing to, nothing to do for, for nothing. Might as well be an empty box. And we put it back when we don't need it. But the natural is where he's fighting. But then look at our country. Man, there shouldn't be sides, but there is. But everybody's mad. Preachers, news media, presidents, former presidents, Congress, Over what? The twistedness of it, guys. It's saying 
The truth might lie somewhere in between, but man, that's even that's even a tough one to swallow on. On it's he's fighting in the natural because he can't because he can't win in the spiritual. The enemy of our soul to destroy people. So anyhow, um, look at some of my other videos. I'm gonna put some links on here to some other videos. One was about praying for Donald Trump. Okay, I get it. Pray for him as a man. That he finds Jesus in all this. Jesus at the center. And the other one is about a vision that I had two days after the election about Jesus being at the center. Guys, if we don't get him back in the center of our lives, in this country, what do we expect? But a mess. Bunch of ungodly religious laws been passed over the years. I'm not going to sensationalize any of them, give them any credit that they're not due. I'm not saying we should abscond and not obey the laws either. That's not what I'm saying. <clears throat> it's time to get Jesus back in to the center. Put an end to this Leviathan spirit, this divisive self God of self centered stuff in the world and in the church his supposed body of Christ there's plenty of room for repentance for all of us in this guys Okay, me included. I'm not going to be the finger pointing guy because it's saying, you know, you point it and then three is pointing at you. You know, there's just too much going on. I say this last point because we can go the opposite extreme. The sensationalism, that's what I was talking about, about the Hollywood Christianity, the sensationalism, Shazam, blam, lights, camera, action, a bunch of garbage, kind of. But then... I watched, I watched, I don't watch a lot of, I try to be very careful of what I, what I, what I feed myself now. But this, this preacher was talking about a well-known preacher that's passed. So I'm like, what is he talking about? Whether, whether he, his life is before God now, because he's gone. Whether agreed or disagreed with him, is all relevant. But I listened to his message. I wanted to see what he's saying. Within the first minute, I caught exactly where he was coming from. He was using the same thing, the sensationalism, small-time preacher coming against a big name that everybody knows. It was a household name that he knew more than, than this, other, this preacher that passed was his message, really, when you, you didn't even have to read between the lines. It was all about him and his ministry and how this other preacher had it all wrong. Sensationalism, guys. The Leviathan spirit, guys, twisting things up badly. It's time we take a stand. Who are we really serving? So anyhow, just tune in to some of my other videos. Uh, I'll put a couple links on here. Bless y'all. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, please comment. I got, um, I don't want to do any of this. I'm on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I don't want to do any of that, guys. None of it. That's what the Lord told me to do. So, and I got and I got a blog site that I'm trying to create right now that's on there, but it's on Wix. But just just Google Jesus is alive in America, and you can get to all of them. So comment. I want to hear from you guys. So does Jesus. It's time for us as a church to rise and shine in His body, and be that light. Quit being hide, quit hiding in darkness. We've all done it, me included. Want to be not abrasive and offensive, and I'm not trying to be any of that either right now. But I am going to stand up for the truth. 
why I got that video out, My Name is Jesus. Got that early in the morning in prayer. I was staying, sitting in prayer, sitting there in prayer, praying. Jesus appeared before me, and he said, My name is Jesus, and at the sound of my name, every knee will bow. It was really loud, guys. Almost like he was shouting it, but he wasn't. There you have it. Twist it up, Leviathan spirit. We're going to let that continue on. Or are we going to make a stand? The King of Kings. His name is Jesus. Love you guys. See you all soon.